Manly fullback Brett Stewart lined up for game 200, while hooker Daniel Harrison returned to NRL level for the first time since July 2012. In the 10th minute, James Graham led the charge for Canterbury to crack the Manly line. It goes across the virus, here comes a try. Yep, Mitch Brown, Mitch Brown has gone in. Mitch Brown scores for Canterbury. A few minutes later, the Bulldogs' plan moved to the right, came up trumps. Reynolds to Perrett, here they go again, and Thompson scores. Both wingers have scored for Canterbury in a short space of time. Jamie Lyon landed on Trent Hodkinson, sending the Bulldogs' playmaker off for treatment, while Canterbury careered further ahead, building on Graham's foundation. Perrett, Perrett, he scored, Sam! Sam Perrett has scored Canterbury's third try. Well, it's the same formation, but this time he doesn't play to the outside, he plays to the inside, and there's lazy defenders from the inside. Two Joshes sparked joshing, and a bit more. Josh Jackson went on report for a chicken wing tackle. Josh Starling retaliated, a punch was thrown, and the Seagulls forward went for 10 minutes in the sin bin. Hey. Starling has let one go. The Bulldogs continued to put the squeeze on the Seagulls, but Brown put a foot into touch before Jaden Hodges came off the bench to open Manley's account. Hodges! Hodges is over! Hodges has scored! There's your answer, Peter! Just has a little bit of a look down the right hand side to see the markers are tied up there and that's he took advantage of it. The good dummy halves know when the markers are in disarray. At half time, Canterbury 16, Manly 6. In the Seagulls dressing room, there would be no doubt understanding Jeff Tooby's instructions. Daily Cherry Evans rolled the dice, giving his Manly teammates something to chase. There's a chance on here! And still a chance! They've come up empty, Ash. but it's a line dropout. A runaway prop is hard to find, but easier to round up. Well, how much speed has Starling got? He's to the halfway. They're closing. <laughs> the milestone man then put the Seagulls within arm's reach. He puts on a step. Here comes a try. Brett Stewart has scored. He's thrown the big dummy and gone. Straight through the middle. Straight through the middle. 146th try. You were just talking about it, you two guys. Manly cleared the deficit inside the last 10 minutes when Michael Ennis fumbled in the danger zone. It's gone to ground. It's gone to ground. They're going to get the ball. They're going to score. Oh. Chase Blair. Chase Blair. Oh. Like a thief in the night has come through with a try. Patson pushes for Ennis a week after he patted Cameron Smith's head, while Rennie Matua didn't learn from Starling's actions. Yeah, he throws a punch. Ready with two is throwing a punch. Earning him 10 minutes in the sin bin. A bonus for the Bulldogs followed when Reynolds kicked the ball, striking the referee on the fifth tackle. It gave Canterbury six more tackles within striking distance. There goes the shot. And it looks good. The arm goes up. There's the breakup. Down a point, the Seagulls made the most of having the extra man, and within 90 seconds of the scheduled 80 minutes, the equaliser. He's got the kick, and Manly draw level with them. Cherry Evans sent the match into extra time. The game didn't last too long. Stewart missed with his field goal attempt, while the Bulldogs took their chance at the other end soon after. From Hodgkinson, he's got it. They've got it. They've got the kick. They've got the game. Full-time Canterbury 18, Manly 17. Charles Christian, NRL.com.